Hey guys, welcome back. Suppressor Stuff, Episode 4. Today we're going to be talking about the Knight's Armament QDC CRS PRT. So, if you guys are interested in the testing procedures, the what, how, and why, we got a separate video for that. It's in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. So let's break this down. That stands for Quick Disconnect Coupling Combat Rifle Suppressor Pressure Reduction Technology. So that's, that's kind of a long name, right? So, QDC, that stands for the mount quick disconnect coupling we'll get into the mount later but the form factor right combat rifle suppressor that talks about the size so this is a full size dedicated 556 suppressor and prt talks about how this is a low back pressure suppressor you know this is what they're trying to do and a lot of the manufacturers are moving towards low back pressure so this is a 3d printed suppressor it's full auto rated the baffle sack inside is in canal and the mount is welded on the front cap looks like it's welded on. It just looks really clean. So I'm guessing it's welded on. The form factor, the website says it's six and a quarter inches long, but it, I don't think it looks like that. So if we take a look at RC2, it's actually slightly shorter. It's slightly shorter than RC2, but I'm guessing it's around like 6.3 inches long, something like that. Um, it's a 19.6 ounce suppressor so it's a little heavier than other comparable suppressors it's a little heavier than the older qdc line but msrp on this guy is gonna be 1800 so as of today december 2023 street price on it is still gonna be around 1800 bucks and that's just because the supply the availability of them um, is still less than the demand so i'm hoping that as there's more of them the price on that will come down but let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Let's talk about what you're gonna get in the box. So it comes in this cardboard box, comes with a black sleeve, a little white box here. And inside, you literally just have the plastic bag the suppressor shows up in, a little bit of wax paper, and then a tiny card. So on here, you got a little QR code, QR thingy. This is for the user's manual. That's about it. So there's no mount in here. But let's talk about the mounting system. Let's talk about the mounts themselves. So quick disconnect coupling, it's pretty cool. The mounting system, you got this collar, and as you turn it, you hear those ratchets. So inside you got ceramic ball bearings that as you're turning the collar, these ceramic ball bearings will end up protruding into the dimples of the muzzle device. So when you're mounting this guy, you're basically just gonna take the suppressor and you'll notice that there's a pin here. There's a little indexing notch there. You're gonna make sure that you line up to seat it. You're gonna turn it until the ratcheting stops. And then once you hear that it stops, just feel, verify. It's like, okay, it's on there really good. And you wanna take it off, same thing. Just take it off. So it's a pretty genius design. The ceramic ball bearings that's supposed to mitigate, you know, your carbon locking. And then the mobile devices themselves, you've only got two options here. So you've got the QDC three-prong flash hider. This is going to be what comes standard on all the rifles, like the SR-15 rifles, also standard on all the uppers. So you'll notice the forks here, the tines, they've got different amounts of material. This is just so when you shoot and fire, they don't ping. Um, this guy is going to be your cheapest one. If I'm not mistaken, it's around $117. It's going to be the most readily available. This is the QDC MAMS. So the QDC MAMS is Knight's Armament's muzzle brake for the QDC suppressors. And MAMS is M-A-M-S. So that's multi-axis muzzle stability. Uh, what makes this different is that most brakes, they normally have like big giant ports on them out the side, like two or three ports. This, we've got a bunch of little tiny ports and they're angled. So they're actually angled backwards, right? So when the gun fires, it's actually pulling the muzzle forward. And what is unique about this muzzle device in general is that it's just about as effective as a traditional dual or triple port brake, but it has a significantly less concussion and significantly less flash. The downside to all of that though, is that you're gonna end up really paying the price. So if I'm not mistaken, this is around $360. So if you want a muzzle brake to go with your QDC suppressor, then you're gonna end up really paying a hefty sum. A few minutes later. All right, guys, so we're back on the range with the QVC CRS PRT. So we're gonna fire 100 rounds unsuppressed. We're gonna throw it on and then fire another 100 rounds.
And guys, we don't have any sponsors here. All this is funded directly by y'all. If you like this kind of testing, best way to keep it going, go to RooftopDefense.com, buy some gun parts, let me feed you, like, sub, hit the comment section, go batshit crazy. Five minutes later.